good morning or good evening sa ating lahat ng mga nanonood. So, today, I'm going to discuss about my green card adjustment of status. So, guys, ito yung mga kailangan natin i-submit, especially doon sa mga nandito na sa United States. Ito yung mga kailangan natin i-submit para doon sa USCIS or the United States Immigration Services, blah, blah, blah. Yan. So, ang kailangan po is um, yung height po, yung weight, my eye color, and then yung hair color. Kailangan mo siyang i-print. You have to print a copy of that. Then you're gonna send it. All of them together at once. Okay? Next one will be my birth certificate and my husband's birth certificate. Yung copy din ng birth certificate namin. Huwag mong isi-send yung original copy of those ones. Lahat na isasubmit mo, hindi dapat original copy. So, another one is the divorce or annulment paper or annulment document na meron si husband na nagtara kami. Kailangan din yan. And then, two copies of pas uh, passport style photo of me. Kasi ako yung mag apply for the adjustment of status. So, got the photo in here. And then also, yung certificate kung saan ka kinasal ni husband. You can say, husband mo na siya. Pag, Siyempre, pag mag-apply ka na ng adjustment of status mo. So, copy of that one again. Everything is a copy, guys. Everything is a copy. Huwag na huwag kayo magsasubmit ng original copy. Okay? Next one will be the copy of my K-1 visa and Philippine passport ID. Another one is the form or approval of uh, approval notice of action, which is your form I-797. Very important yun, guys. So, nung pinag-prepare ko to, akala ko, eto na siya yung uh, I-797. Pero hindi pa pala. Hindi ito yun, guys. Hindi ito yun. So, ang kailangan mong hanapin is yung I-797. Yun yung notice of action na sinan sa'yo ng USCIS. Nung nandyan ka pa sa Pilipinas. And, inattach ko na din yung form I-129F baka just in case hindi ko lang sigurado baka kailangan din to kasi nandun yung alien number ko ganyan ganyan so eto yun attach ko siya doon sa my approval notice or yung form I-797 sana malinaw yun guys huwag na huwag niyong wawalain yung mga papers na sinan sa inyo ng mga uh, ng US Embassy or ng USCIS meron yan isisend sa iyo sa uh, email, ganyan and then one more thing is the vaccination document worksheet na binigay sa iyo ng St. Luke's para doon sa next na physical or medical test mo dito kung wala yun magbabayad ka ng another $400 for that one. So, huwag niyong kakalimutan yan. Yung vaccination is, yun yung document na kinuha mo sa St. Luke's. Again, St. Luke's, kung saan naka-indicate doon yung mga vaccinations na binigay sa'yo, nung no, nandun ka. Ito yun. And, okay. So, after that one, kailang, pagka, ano din, um, kakailangan din ng USCIS, yung W-2 or updated na um, what's that? updated federal income tax return ng fiancé mo or your husband mo or yung sinasabi nila na 1099 miscellaneous form and couple of recent pay stubs na galing naman doon sa trabaho ni husband mo kailangan mong sabihin sa kanya na i-print na yun okay? so this is the other papers for his um, statements 
guys. Ang kusa siya na guys. So, pinabasa ko kasi siya lahat. Ayaw kong magkamali. Ayaw kong magkamali and gusto ko rin na hindi rin kayo magkamali once na uh, kayo na din yung nag-apply for your adjustment of status pag nakarating na kayo dito. Kasi guys, kung hindi nyo lang alam, we've been waiting for so long already because of his job and hindi kami laging nasa bahay to do all of this paperwork. And pagka, especially kung yung husband nyo or yung fiancé nyo is yung nagda-drive siya ng truck, kagaya ng husband ko, it is not really possible na, uh, okay, we're gonna send it right away, you know? Kasi hindi siya ganun kadali na, okay, I need a home time uh, in order for me to send this document and everything. It's not so easy to do that kind of thing, guys. So, yun. As long as you already prepare everything that you need for his tax returns that the USCIS is needing, yung updated ang kailangan nila. Okay. <clears throat> so, another thing is that um, you also have to you also have to submit the form I-131 and I travel application. Um, a travel document often used by green card holders. Yan. Ibig sabihin nun, kung wala pa yung um, green card mo or yan, yung physical na yung green card mo, kailangan mo yun para makapag-travel ka ng Philippines or kahit sa ang bansa na gusto mong puntahan. Kung wala yun, yung, kung hindi mo na isubmit yun, yung I form, a form I-131, hindi ka papayagan ng United States na lumabas. Unless meron ka ng green card. And another one is the I-864, which is, it is the epidemic of support na isasend mo kasi, oh, maybe not. So guys, balikan ko kayo ulit mamaya. Kailangan na namin pumunta doon sa office. Mamaya ko na lang siya ulit i-discuss lahat-lahat, okay? There you go guys! We're gonna go to the post office now and we're gonna be sending the papers that we need. No, guys, and we're gonna be sending the papers already. Yay! So, I'm grabbing that one. That's a priority mail. Hey guys, so we're done with my papers. We're just gonna have to wait when uh, the person involved with this is already done, so, hi! 15 minutes later.